So you might be in a situation where for some reason your PlayStation 4 controller is just not working with your PC. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. Again, there's never just one reason why something like this ends up happening. But the number one reason why this ends up happening is usually because of some connection problem or some power problem with your particular PlayStation 4 controller. So the first thing I recommend doing is turning on your controller and making sure it's turned on properly. So hold down the power button at the very front. What you can also do is just hold down the, you know, just hold it down and see if that ends up fixing it. You may also have a power issue with your controller, so you may have to go through and charge up your controller when it comes down to it. So find that power port, you know, the charging port that's in the back of your PlayStation 4 controller, and go ahead and plug it in. It does take a micro USB cable, and you want to see if your controller actually turns on. If your controller turns on, if it properly turns on, then that will probably alleviate the power issues. But if it doesn't turn on, you may want to make sure that the cable is working and your controller charging port is actually working as well, because if those things are not working, that's going to be a very big problem in and of itself. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing is to go and see if you can repair your particular PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. So what you're going to want to do there is you want to hold down both the PlayStation Home button and the Share button in the top left corner. You want to hold down both these buttons until the orange light at the top starts blinking. And then you want to make your way over to your Bluetooth controller or just Bluetooth settings of your PC. And you want to try loading that thing up. A lot of the times, if you just repair and reconnect your controller to your PC, that could very well end up fixing the problem too, and that's probably all you're going to do from that specific standpoint as well. Now, if that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing is just go through and have a wired connection straight to your PC. So grab that micro USB cable, plug it directly into your you know, computer, and that might end up fixing the problem too. If it doesn't, you may want to you know, test out your controller further with other devices and see if the controller is the issue or if the PC is the issue. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.